If you're lucky enough to get your hands on a Steam Deck and want to do some old school couch gaming, just like me, you require a dock. Unfortunately, at the time of this video, the Steam Deck dock is on a delay due to the chip shortage, which is why I recommend you take a look at the Anchor 4-in-1 USB-C hub. The best part about this right here is it's available and affordable. Here we go. The Anchor USB-C hub comes with one USB-C charging port, one USB-A charging and data port, one USB-A data port, and one HDMI port that displays 4K HD video at 30 hertz. One of the nice things about the Anchor 4-in-1 USB-C hub is the fact that it's so easy and foolproof to use. Simply connect any HDMI cable into the port on the Anchor 4-in-1 and then connect that to any display monitor, whether it be a PC monitor or TV. Then take the pigtail that's on the Anchor 4-in-1 and connect it to your Steam Deck. Turn on your Steam Deck and your monitor and congratulations, you have successfully docked your Steam Deck to play games. In this current setup that you see here, you can use any Bluetooth controller and connect it to your Steam Deck and start playing games like you would for old school couch gaming. Just to let you know, this will drain the battery fast on your Steam Deck. The nice thing about the Anchor 4-in-1 is you can connect power to it via a USB-C cable on the port. This will allow for basically a 45 watt pass-through. It says 60, but if you actually look at the description on Amazon, it says it takes 13 watts to actually power the device. So let's just round that number to 45 watts. When you connect this, it'll allow you to play your games longer because it'll be charging the Steam Deck as that power is going through the Anchor 4-in-1. When it comes to the Anchor 4-in-1, there's virtually no cons to it. It works great as a Steam Deck dock alternative, and it's a multitasking tool. You can use it at your office or your home computer. But if I had to nitpick on it, I did notice when I used it as a dock with my Steam Deck, it did get warm after a couple of hours of use. It didn't get hot, just warm, something that you should be aware of. Also, a lot of people will probably nitpick that it's only 30 hertz and not 60 hertz. That's overkill for me. I'm only getting this for an alternative or something to hold me over until the Steam Deck dock becomes available. But if you want a recommendation for something that's 60 hertz, check out the video description where I will put one for you. But at the moment, this is the best budget-friendly option for docking your Steam Deck. One, it's available for purchase right now, and two, it only costs 25 USD. Yeah, that makes it the best budget-friendly option at the moment. If you need any more help with anything on Steam Deck, perhaps how to pair a Bluetooth controller to your Steam Deck, take a look at the videos over to my side. Or if you need some more helpful tips, hey, check out my other videos. I'll check you all later. Take care. And of course, peace.